Here it comes, the 3-0. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. And, and that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Now the 3-1 home. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. Full count offering on its way. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Coco Chris will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. First offering on the way. Pitch inside the throw. Throw won't get him. The 1-0 pitch. Runner going a second time. It misses low. The throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Not a bad time to go there. He just walked it. Now he's falling behind the next guy, so he figured he's going to be focused on trying to throw a strike more than he is keeping someone close. Come on, Kyle, throw behind the runner at second. A dive, but he's back. Darvish delivers the 2-0. There's a strike. It's 2-1. And, and you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch to two and two now. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. What a stop! And he is going to get him at first base. And my goodness, that was a highlight real effort. Oh, and that's a tough play right there for a third baseman. Remember, he's already playing off the line with the left-hander up there. So he's got to dive back all the way across his body. He's able to haul it in, stand up, and make the strong throw to first. Billy Butler will step in here with a runner at third now, so maybe an important at-bat here early in the ballgame. Yeah, I think you really need to get something out of this inning, even if it's just a sacrifice fly. If you let this guy off the hook, he might not even give you another chance. Come on now, put her in play. Pause, now the pitch. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. Oh, a tough play. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Well, by rights, this should have been an RBI single, but that's one heck of a play out there on defense. The run's still going to score, but what an exceptional defensive effort out there to at least get an out on the play. Jamal Pryor in for a second time. He drew a base on balls to lead off the home first. First pitch coming. Runs up to Bunn here, but this is going to kick just foul down the line. Ready? Now the pitch. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. 
Hey, double him up. Let's go. Yeah, let's roll through right here. Hey, stay hot, huh? Hey, let's go two, huh? Now the one and one pitch. And now he squares around and drops down a good one. Barehanded at his ankle. Oh, and no chance for Fielder to get up that high. It's over his head. Right here, find the ball. And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster all the way around. That play was just an absolute mess. You want to see a manager lose his mind? Try letting a guy score from first on an air. That's an absolute gift in front of him. Crisp standing in as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. Here's the 1-0. Oh. 2-0 and oh now. Another 2-0 -oh count here to begin an at-bat. Once or twice is a pattern. More than that is a trend. And he's just not going to have much success if he keeps falling behind every hitter. Hitters count 2 and 0. 3 and 0 now. Billy Butler waits on deck. Now the 3 0 pitch. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners in the corners now with still nobody out. Now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach. So he's got to make a judgment call out there. He knows what button to press with each of his pitchers. Some guys you've got to reassure and be very positive with. You know, other guys, they respond better when you go out and challenge them. You really got to read them the riot out. Comes set, now the pitch. Billy Butler is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, 1-0. Just because he's thrown five straight balls doesn't make this an automatic take, especially if for a guy in this part of the lineup. Here's a 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. And, and one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose them and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Here we go, right now, fellas. Here we go, okay. Let's go two now. Here's the 2-0. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seat. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Around third and being waved on home. Now the relay home. And he will score as well. They've doubled their lead now to 4 nothing. On the mound, one thing you cannot do. Can't give the other team free passes. Two walks in the inning set this up. Now you've got a pitcher that's just hoping to get one over the plate, so he grooves this one, winds up costing. single this last time around. Now here's the first pitch. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Get your pitch, see through, huh? The next pitch, not close, it's 2-0. He just keeps getting himself into trouble out there. 
here's another guy that you got to make swing the bat. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Okay, all right. Here we go now. Now the 2-0. Oh. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. Here he comes on two and one. Now a good slider there. Tough pitch and from two and oh it's back to two and two. Here now the two two. And this misses so that'll fill the count at three and two. And now three two two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Come on, Oakland. Hey, let it rip one time. Need you right here. Here we go, Duck on Come the set. Ball. Now the pitch. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Cody Ross will lead things off here for the Rangers to be followed by Elvis Andrews on deck. Ready now on one and one. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. A look at our line score here through the first four and as we've mentioned just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first offering. In the dirt here. The throw will go to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. From the stretch. Slow curveball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back. It's strike two. Do you even bother with anything else here? I sure would. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fastball, adjust for an off-speed pitch. And so far in this at-bat, he hasn't made any adjustments. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. The 1-2. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. another one two pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed so he'll need to get the force at first and the throw is in time it's a strikeout and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over Leonis Martin will stand in for the fourth time now still looking for his first hit of the ball game and he's not the only one either this has been a great pitching performance so far and they've had these guys chasing their tails all and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stolmy Pimentel will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Jamal Pryor will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now the first pitch. Swing and a miss 0 and 1. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. A 2-1 offering. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. The A's strand one. They're still out in front, five to two. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game.